If you find someone you love in your life, then hang on to that love. I'd like to be a queen in people's hearts but I don't see myself being queen of this country. I don't want expensive gifts. I don't want to be bought. I have everything I want. I just want someone to be there for me. To make me feel safe and secure oh great amounts of good. Especially for children. The biggest disease this day and age is that of people feeling unloved. People think that at the end of the day a man is the only answer. Actually, a fulfilling job is better for me. Carry out a random act of kindness, with no expectation of reward. Safe in the knowledge that one day someone might do the same for you. Only do what your heart tells you. Nothing brings me more happiness than trying to help the most vulnerable people in society. It is a goal and an essential part of my life, a kind of destiny. Whoever is in distress can call on me. I will come running wherever they are. Every one of us needs to show how much we care for each other and, in the process, care for ourselves. I think the biggest disease the world suffers from in this day and age is the disease of people feeling unloved. I know that I can give love for a minute, for half an hour, for a day, for a month, but I can give. I am very happy to do that, I want to do that. HIV does not make people dangerous to know. So you can shake their hands and give them a hug. Heaven knows they need it. When you are happy you can forgive a great deal. I will fight for my children on any level so they can reach their potential as human beings and in their public duties. You can't comfort the afflicted with afflicting the comfortable. I want my boys to have an understanding of people's emotions, their insecurities, people's distress, and their hopes and dreams. I live for my sons. I would be lost without them. So many people supported me through my public life and I will never forget them. I wear my heart on my sleeve. Family is the most important thing in the world. I don't go by the rule book. I lead from the heart not the head. Anywhere I see suffering, that is where I want to be, doing what I can. There were three of us in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded. Being a princess isn't all it's cracked up to be. I like to be a free spirit. Some don't like that, but that's the way I am. It's vital that the monarchy keeps in touch with the people. It's what I try and do.
The greatest problem in the world today is intolerance. Everyone is so intolerant of each other. Life is just a journey. I'm as thick as a plank. They say it is better to be poor and happy than rich and miserable. But how about a compromise like moderately rich and just moody? What must it be like for a little boy to read that daddy never loved mommy? If men had to have babies, they would only ever have one each. I want to walk into a room, be it a hospital for the dying or a hospital for the sick children, and feel that I am needed. I want to do, not just to be. I don't even know how to use a parking meter, let alone a phone box. I'm aware that people I have loved and have died and are in the spirit world looking after me. I think like any marriage, especially when you've had divorced parents like myself, you want to try even harder to make it work. Any sane person would have left long ago. But I cannot. I have my sons. I knew what my job was. It was to go out and meet the people and love them. The kindness and affection from the public have carried me through some of the most difficult periods, and always your love and affection have eased the journey.